Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about automatic quartz purification in Applied Energistics 2. Uh, I'm currently using the unstable release of FTB, so I'm missing a lot of mods that we might be used to, but it does have AE2 in it, and so that's what we're here to look at. In AE2, we can take a piece of quartz crystal, put it into a grindstone, <coughs> hold right click on the handle for a little while, and oops, give ourselves a piece of quartz dust. We can then take that piece of quartz dust and craft it with a piece of sand to get out two quartz seeds. If we take these quartz seeds and we put them in a pool of water and we wait for several hours, they will eventually turn into these pure quartz crystals. Now, there are certain recipes that require pure quartz crystals, uh, but for most recipes that even require standard quartz crystals, you can use the pure ones instead. So we're effectively doubling our amount of quartz. Do note, though, that you cannot grind the pure quartz crystals, at least as of right now, um, in order to continue doubling them indefinitely. Uh, also note that, two, three, four, uh, if you want to turn them back into regular quartz crystals, you can do that. You just make a quartz block, and it gives you back quartz crystals. And note, it did have the amount. I needed four pure, or excuse me, eight pure, and I got back four standard. Uh, so it doesn't uh, doesn't give you a little cheat there. Oh, okay. Anyway, if you don't feel like waiting several hours, and let's see, let's check check on these little guys. Still at zero percent. Yep. Uh, you can build these growth accelerators. So what you do is next to your pool of water, you place your growth accelerators. Okay, and you need to power them off an ME network, and each of each growth accelerator you add around the pool of water will increase the speed, uh, but it can still take a couple of minutes for it to run. So I don't like sitting here looking at things or dropping things manually or picking them up. So we're going to automate this. Now, Applied Energistics didn't used to be very good at interacting with objects in the world, but they've given us a couple tools now. So we've got the Annihilation Plane, and this is like the transition plane from Applied Energistics 1, where if there's an object in front of it, it despawns it and puts it into your network, and it also picks up free floating objects on the ground in front of it. But now we've also got the formation plane, which will take items from your ME network and spawn them into the world, or if they're tile entities, like these quartz seeds, uh, it will just throw them into the world. So what we're going to do is we've got a little pool of water there, and we've surrounded it by our crystal growth accelerators, and we've put a formation plane on top, and an annihilation plane on the bottom. So this annihilation plane is being controlled by this toggle bus, and I've built myself a rudimentary timer that looks like this. And let me just turn this guy on so you can see it work. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of options um, in, in this particular build as far as clocks go, so I needed something that would have a nice delay. Um, so I built this. It's kind of old school. If you play much vanilla, you might have might have seen one of these floating around from time to time. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I just built one of these underground right here. And so that's going to have my annihilation plane on about an eighth of the time, uh, just because I've got the timers a little, or the uh, redstone repeaters a little bit imbalanced. So what we'll do so we'll just go to our, our terminal here. We're going to put in some seeds, and I've got seeds in various states. So there's some 33% grown, 66% grown. And when I put them in, they just go right out the formation plane, and they sit in the water there. And whenever the annihilation plane turns on, it grabs them all. It's got nowhere to put them except the formation plane, and so they just kind of spray everywhere. Um, but they're really in the water, believe me. Now, once they get fully grown in the water, we've got this storage bus here uh, that only accepts pure quartz crystals. And I've given it a priority of one, which is higher than the priority on my formation plane. So you may remember priority from uh, Applied Energistics 1. The higher the priority, um, it, you set a higher priority on item to ensure that the item will go there first. Uh, and even normally just saying the filter will give it preference, but just in case, we went ahead and set this to priority one.
Hey, look at that. This is probably our 66% ones have already completed. Um, so I was going to show you how to link this to a, a primary network so you could do it as a crafting recipe. However, it doesn't look like patterns are in this version just yet. Um, so I did actually find a pattern terminal, uh, but it doesn't seem to do anything. In fact, if I try and right click on it, uh, yeah, I, I got nothing. Um, so, but all you would do is you would take, um, you know, an ME interface and drop it down here, um, and then, you know, an import bus, and you would, you know, put the pattern in to um, spit out your your quartz seeds whenever you you want them to grow. Um, we also don't have anything like industrial craft or thermal expansion to automate this grinding, so uh, that part is still manual for right now. But hey, uh, I expect that any legitimate uh, pack will, will have a way to automate your grinding as well. So uh, as far as the growing goes, you just need a way to put them into the system. You use a formation plane on top, growth accelerators around a piece of water, annihilation plane on the bottom with a toggle bus and a timer of some kind. And that is it. Um, Whenever those those crystals are done cooking, uh, they will spit out to a storage bus, which is designed for pure quartz crystals only. Uh, and that is that. Um, I hope you find this helpful whenever AE2 makes it to a uh, more playable pack. And have a great day.